In this video, we are going to be setting up the categories model and the relationship as well as setting up a batch and article page. So let's head into the video and get started working on the ability to create categories. All right, let's go ahead into our app here and make a new model called category. We want a migration for this as well. So let's head into our create categories table and in here we want as a starter we just want a title for the category which can be nullable we also want in here to have the ability to set um, a description so I'm just going to call this content that can also be nullable actually the title is the one we should keep us set we also want in here to be setting a slug if need be that can be nullable and if it is set it needs to be unique we need to have in here a string for text color which is going to be nullable and background color And just like we did in here when we create, um, in this case, the articles table, we also want this to have a media in here, which would be great. So we can actually relate this to media in here. So with that sorted, that's the primary things we want to have in here. The only other thing I want to have in here as well is, in this case, we want to display um, a boolean if this is a is a tag or if it's a category by default we will set this to false we want this to be able to be either or so that's everything we need for the categories table we do also obviously need to make sure we can set a relationship up here with an individual model so let's go ahead and take a look at that now we also want to have in here an for an ID, which is going to be parent ID before we go on. So we want to have this as nullable, constrained to the same table here. And we will just set this as cascade on delete. So that's everything we actually need for this category table itself. However, we also do need to go in, in this case, we have a model called article model. So we need to go in and create make migration and we're going to call this create categories. Actually, no, so we need to go first with article because it goes by alphabetical order. Article category table. And in here, we just need to have a foreign ID for po article class. And then one for category. Just like that. So we should be able to migrate this now. There we go, that seems to migrate fine. So what I wanna go ahead and do now is I wanna head into our models folder. So inside our category model, let's go into here and set up a few relationships. So first and foremost, I think we may actually have forgotten in here to relate this to users. So if we go ahead and just roll back. Perfect. So in here we just want to quickly add in a table for an ID, use ID, constraint, cascade on delete.
and be getting an issue inside the model category because I think yeah we need to just get rid of this here so if we go ahead and try to migrate now yeah it works fine so let's go into our category model here and in here we want a few different things set up so let's start with just a user relationship And then inside our post model, we want, or article model as we have named it, we want to have categories belongs to many return this belongs to many category class, just like that. So we now have this relationship set up in here. Let's go ahead and say PHP artisan make filament resource and let's call this category resource. Perfect. And let's go in here and set up the ability to create a category. All right, so let's head in here uh, to the article resource. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy some of these in here because we have in here both a title and everything else we need. So let's go ahead and delete the imports we don't need and import the new thing. So we have the tip tap editor, which you want to have. We want to have slug. We want to have a media ID. Outside of that, we also want to have the ability to, in this case, set the tag here and we also want to fix in here we don't currently set the use ID so what we can go ahead and do is in here we can just create a hidden field so if we go in here we should just be able to in this case have a hidden make use ID and in this case, we just want to dehydrate state and we want to use using fm state. Of ID. So we want to have this inside both the article and the category resource here. If you look in the model here, we have to set in a use ID. And some of these we do definitely have here as well. So let's just go in and add these fillable ways here. So if you head into our create articles table, We did add a use ID later on, so that's good, perfect. And inside the category table here, we have the media ID, use ID, content, title, and slug. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this one down. So we wanna have the text color here. So what we can go ahead and do is just add all of these in here. And parent ID. Perfect. So it's like category resource. We also want in here to, in this case, have uh, a color picker. So we want to set the text color and we want to set the background color in here. Perfect. We also just want to have in here at checkbox
or we could even just have a tuple and let's say is tag and outside of that we just need to set the parent ID here so the way that we can set this parent ID is inside here we want to go ahead and use a select field so in here let's go ahead and make sure we use that select make parent ID and in here we want to set relationship And we're going to have this relationship inside the category model here. Okay, let's create a parent relationship here. So let's call this parent. And it's going to belong to, in the return, this belongs to category class. And in this case, we want to have parent ID. And let's go in now to our category resource and here we want to have parent and we want to have the title attribute here and outside of that I'm just going to put this on a new line for these ones here so that it looks a little bit more readable so I'm just going to go in here and add a text column here for now called title just so we can see the windows added and let's go into our browser now and check how it looks all right let's head into our categories table here and let's just create a test in here at the moment it really doesn't matter what it looks like and create and that worked fine perfect so you can see we now have this test in here which is just what we want so let's go in here now and add in a few different things. So when I have a color column in here, which is going to be text color and then one for the background color. You want these to be searchable. Um, if we go back in now, you can see we actually have this neat looking approach here where we can see the text color, the title and the slug. We're able to search for them as well. So that's perfect. Now we're actually able to view this in here. Let's also go ahead, just like we did inside this article resource, add in a create a column. So you need to import this as well up here. Just like that and perfect. Now we can see everything we need. We also, in this case, we could select a parent ID, but I do want to go ahead and head into our category resource. And in here, I'm just going to make sure that we have this set as searchable. Cause now we can actually search for something in here instead so that it works a bit neater, just like that. Now I don't want to go ahead and edit this one because we only have one. I don't want to have that to be the parent ID, but I do want to test this out. So I'm going to call this parent. Create. And let's head into a test one here and see if we can find the parent one. Perfect. That's what we want. So that works great. All right, let's go in and set this article resource and allow us to pick a category in here. So let's go in and import the select component here. And we want to just have a category in this case. So we want to have in here a relationship to categories. Title. We want this to be searchable. And 
and outside of that I think that's basically everything we need for now so let's go into our browser here and go into the articles page here find a category let's see how this looks in our database here where we have this article category and that works great perfect so we should now be able to actually head into our article plate the PHP page in here let's go ahead and just say article and in case we want to just double check here inside here we have this relationship called categories so I want to just go ahead and say categories so I'm gonna go into wire content this one is empty there we go we have a category here so now we can actually start listing through them which is brilliant so let's go ahead and decide where we want to put this so I generally prefer to put the categories at the bottom of the page so in here I want to have a for each and I just want to have article categories as category and print out a category there we go so in here I want to have a small tag component so if we head into Mary UI and I think we actually call it batch sorry so let's head and find a batch component here perfect let's just add in for now we won't set the background color we will look at that in a bit so let's just go in and set this here as category title and we just want to call this X Mary there we go so let's go ahead and set a class in here And we have a primary class here so yeah we can basically now add links into this and that later on so we will start working on that in the next video where we will add colors and links to these badges create a category page and so on so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching it if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one